something positive for our Sam to look forward to. You know, he comes home from school and that's his thing, his football, you know, so to be part of that group, yeah, it's somewhat good. It does actually get them off the street. Like, they finish school and they, they go straight there from school. So it's ideal for us and we just go there and pick them up once they finish. So it's actually absolutely brilliant to us. Yes, getting young people off the streets. Stopping from people, smashing wounds and stuff. Yeah. Fighting. Yeah. It's actually fun doing crime and just like entertaining and stuff. The project was born out of Leeds Federated Neighbourhood Planning process where we consult with our tenants around issues that are important to them in their community and one of the things that came out particularly in the West Granges and the Arlingtons was issue with young people and not enough provision for young people in the area. Um, so that's where um, myself and Ben from the Hunslet Initiative teamed up and we did a joint bid to the lottery um, for £8,000 um, to put on youth activities for the young people in the area. On a weekly basis we'll go up to the, the courts where they live in their, in their neighbourhoods, we'll uh, provide just uh, a space for them to come and play, for, be themselves, enjoy being part in a, a healthy activity. As part of an housing association we have a vested interest in, in not only the people within our properties but the wider community as well um, and through the neighbourhood planning process um, we ask our tenants about the services that they'd like to see in their communities um, and this is how projects like this are developed. One of the important elements as well there's, there's a value for money in terms of what we can deliver for our tenants so we did the joint funding bid through the lottery and obviously Ben team um, manages the project and runs the project. So from, our, from our, an organisational perspective, we're providing uh, lots of activities for our tenants and our tenants' children, but there's very little cost in terms of time and finances to our organisation. So it's very much a win-win situation. Get, 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 get. He always goes to play in the park and uh, I think he's made new friends there and it's helping him to play. If you don't give them something to do, they will do the worst things to get noticed. Whereas if they can dribble a football and get noticed by the right people, that's, that's ka-ching, isn't it? As much as possible we let them be themselves but we, we do challenge and get them to think about how they treat one another and we have seen changes and improvements in behaviour. From a Leeds Fed perspective it's very important that what we set up is sustainable so it may, it may be that we're not involved with Ben and his team but if we've uh, played a part in the organisation creating those links with young people um, then that can only be a positive benefit for, for Leeds Federated but also um, the long term sustainable benefits to the, to the communities where we have our problems. Tonight's uh, one of the start of uh, a few weeks where we bring them into here as a kind of prelude to doing a residential with them in the summer. People love football, they love uh, spending time with, with other people and they want to make new friends. Yeah, I'm happy to spend some time with my mates so we get to know a lot of people that are here that we've never met before. This weekend is about uh, being in a new place, uh, meeting some new people, uh, trying new things and yeah, kind of learning new things about ourselves. Meet new friends and just do activities you've never done before, it's new experience. A lot of the activities we do here, uh, a lot of teamwork, a lot of um, encouraging each other, supporting each other and uh, just, just getting on with each other really. We're trying to climb a, a rock and we're trying to uh, uh, secure him so he doesn't fall. Yeah, that makes us feel good to know that we're having some encouragement. We can encourage them and they look up to us. So hopefully they'll hopefully carry on doing what they want to do and give her everything their best shot. These feds have backed us for the last two years to, to do this work. Uh, without them, we, we wouldn't have been able to do it. If the government or whoever makes the decision wants to give the kids a future or a better future, then you know, you've got to give it them. Because if you don't, then they're going to have nothing. And they are going to be running the streets. I, I think Leeds Fed, 
the, the top man who said yes to this, I think he ought to come down and be proud of himself because that, even if it just got two boys to do what they're doing, that, that's great. That's two boys less, you know, and you know, with a bit more sight to the future. Yeah.